researchers. Today's task is to organize the information you've already gathered. So we're just going to sort it today into a new document that will be really useful for the coming days when we actually figure out how we're going to use all of it. So today you're going to take the information that you've already collected. Don't worry if you don't have enough yet. We just want to take today to find out what we've already got and sort it so we really know how much we have. The great thing about you doing this in a Schoology document is that if you do have questions about it, I'll be able to see what you have so far as you ask questions. Of course, you can share with me what you're working with it and ask those questions as we go along, but make sure you watch the entire screencast, take a look at the directions on the assignment, and give it a go and see how far you get, as opposed to feeling like you're overwhelmed and can't do it at all. So today you're going to write or type, meaning copy and paste, direct statements from, from the sources that you contain information that's useful on your topic, the things you already found. For most of you, we're starting with the book that you read or read part of in communications class. Hopefully in your classes, you were asked to start taking some notes from that. It's okay if you haven't yet, but at least to get the information down about the source today. We want to remember that if at all possible, we wanted to put quotation marks around the exact words you borrow, and we're leaving them for now as the exact words from the sources. We're not worried about paraphrasing them. We're taking them as they already exist. The great thing about doing this from a digital document is you literally can copy and paste those statements from the digital sources and put them into your notes. It's okay if the formatting is wonky, just as long as you don't paste white text onto a white document and can't see that the words are there until they're invisible. Other than that, you're good to go. But when you do put those words down, make sure you put quotation marks around those exact words that you're borrowing. Okay? It's so really important that we do this so that we know what's, which words are yours and which words are someone else's. Also, before you do anything else with that piece of information, we're going to record the exact location. If it's a print source like a book or if it's a PDF, meaning it's a picture of a document on the website, then you can use that because it already has its own page numbers. If it doesn't have its own page numbers, you have to count paragraphs. I know how tedious this is when you have long articles but you have to. There's the only way you can do it. Also I remind you that when it's all said and done, you're going to need at least 15 unique, as in non-repeating, pieces of information from at least three sources for your project. If you need more than four sources to get to 15, great. If you have 15, only two sources, I still want a third source. So you don't have to have a lot from it, but you better have at least three sources so you're not relying so much on one or two. Remember, none of these sources can be Wikipedia or those kind of websites. And again, if you don't have enough when we start we finish organizing and sorting today, that's all right. You can go back and add more information as you have time and need to. Your Wednesday catch-up day is going to be a great opportunity to get more information if you don't have enough yet. To start building it out, we're going to have our first source. Whichever source you want to use first, if you only have one source, it's really obvious. You're the author or authors. It could be an organization not an individual, or it could be a group of individuals. Either way, you type it in right here. If it's an article, or just one chapter, or it's a page from a website, you type in that title here. The rest of it, you actually type right into these boxes below. If it's a website, the date published. If it's listed, otherwise the copyright date, usually at the bottom of the page. The URL, the web address, copy and paste it. The date downloaded is the date you looked at it. If you don't know that, and you go to the website and it's still there, use today's date. If it's a book, this stuff we find on the title page or the back of the title page, the city, state, or country, the publisher, publishing company, and the copyright date. If you're using a periodical like a magazine or a newspaper, there's a volume and issue number for that date. Um, sometimes they're tricky to find. I can help you find it if you don't know where it is. The page or pages of that article and the publishing a copyright date. That will be enough for the source information. Most of you already have that, but if not, go back and grab it today. And for source A, you're going to transfer all the usable information from the source into this table. We're going to leave this row column blank for now, and we're going to go ahead and put it information here. doesn't matter what order you put it in. You can put it in the order you found it from the source. And then type the page or paragraph number here. Some of you are a step ahead with this, depending on which communications class of mine you're in, and that's all right. If you have a document that's very similar to this, then I want you to copy and paste into this new document so I can see that it's there and I see it for this fourth quarter. Don't forget, it is fourth quarter today. You have 
six or seven rows for each source. It's okay if you need more or less, like I said here, you can add or delete rows as needed. When you finish with source A, go to source B. I have website and book title here. Again, for most of you, after source A, it's all websites, and that's fine. But same information for the source, and then the information you are adding into these rows, the quote information here, page number, paragraph number here, and this one we're leaving blank for now. Go ahead and add and delete rows. There's source C, website and periodical. I doubt any of you have three books. And then if you need a source D, I added it here. It's optional, don't have to, but if you do need a source D in order to get the 15 piece of information, that's great. One of the questions that comes up a lot with this is, Mr. Orth, how long should a piece of information be? I usually recommend it's one meaningful sentence, one worthwhile sentence. If it's a whole paragraph you're copying and pasting in there, is it really one piece of information or is it several? If it's several, split it into multiple boxes. If it's a whole paragraph, is there an introduction sentence, a transition sentence, an explanation sentence? Which part of that paragraph do you actually want to use? You don't need all of it. So break it down to the parts that are actually useful for you and go from there. I know you're going to have questions. For some of you, you're going to ask for my help finding another source because you can't find it your topic. I will happily help you with this. You're not on your own. You're not alone. But it's okay if you realize you need to ask for some help. So today, you don't have to finish all three sources of this. Some of you might. But at least try to get one source entered in today. If you can get two, wonderful, one and a half. I recommend spend your 20, 25 minutes on this. Get as far as you can, and then let me know the questions you have. I'll give you some updated information and explanations on the next steps for tomorrow. But you kind of want to think of this as being a two-day assignment, which is why I'm going to have it due on Thursday, so that if you need Wednesday as well, you can do that, and it won't be considered late. If you haven't watched the update video, please do that. If you have anything to take care of from last quarter, third quarter, please let me know when you turn things in. I won't be checking them every day. I do have to have grades turned in on Wednesday. But as always, you've got this and I've got you. Go for it.